Hey everybody, welcome back to FTL Advanced Edition. My name is Bear, so last time I forgot to turn the O2 back on. So all my people died before I was able to even get a grasp on what was happening. But luckily we've got the clone bay with a backup DNA bank, of course. So everybody just respawned with full health. So it looks like I improved the situation when in reality I almost caused the inevitable uh, asphyxiation of the entire party. But we're good. We're fine. Everybody's okay. I've got the two power bars back and the O2's back online. I should probably consider uh, upgrading this at some point pretty soon, but for now, we're good to go. We've made our way over to Sector 6 in Zoltan territory, and I'm going to go ahead and keep going with this layout. I think I've got a good thing going here. We've, of course, got Defense Drone Level 2, which helps us out quite a bit in many, many circumstances. Uh, but for now, we got to focus on what's going on out here. So this is definitely looking like a Defense Drone Level 2 situation. We've got plenty of drone parts as well, so that's good. I am going to go ahead and teleport over as well. They've got a crew teleporter of their own, but of course we've got Mantis and humans on board our vessel, so we shouldn't have any problems there. I'm going to make my way over to the O2 of the enemy base. That was a really cool synchronized sound right there. I liked that a lot. Uh, I'm going to send this guy over to the door system. I'm going to let them try to damage my piloting area, and they're probably not going to be able to do so without taking severe damage to their faces once I power up these doors. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna let the uh, let the air out of these rooms here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get away without taking any damage to the piloting area, and I'm gonna be killing at least one crew member very quickly on their end. Uh, yeah, the Ux, oh, uh, yes, they did, uh, they were not able to deal enough damage, so they have split off, it looks like, now. I think we might have only, uh, had two Mantis on board our ship, but we should be just fine here. Let's, uh, let's hope for the best. Mateo is actually taking quite a bit of damage, but he did just level up again in combat, so we should be able to kill these guys. Their dudes are going to suffocate before they can get any damage done. They just ported back, and they're going to probably die very quickly to our two Mantis, considering how low they are in health. There we go. All right, there goes that guy. Uh, I believe the last Mantis is coming in now. He should die. Oh, there is a breach in the doors room, but we just got 51 scrap of drone part and one fuel out of that, so that was totally successful for us. Just have a bit of damage to our crew members here, and we gotta send our NG in there to help him repair this door real fast. That was overall a success, though. Let's go ahead and buy another power bar just so I don't have to do keep doing uh, such crazy balancing, and I can finally take advantage of my cloaking as well while I still have the defense drone online. Uh, that all looks well and good. Now let's send everybody back to posts, and I am going to have to... Oh, shit, I just realized that was a uh, terrible mistake. Hold on a second. Let's send you back over here and then get all these doors shut before we do that. That would have been dumb, dumb, diddly dumb. Uh, I don't think I need to spend this 26 scrap on anything else right now. I'm going to be making a lot of scrap off of uh, ships if I can still manage to destroy all the, or uh, kill all the enemy crew members. So that is, uh, that is looking pretty solid. Let's go ahead and go down to the surface to investigate. Uh, let's see, find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked, exploring the devastation you find a lone survivor. Uh, take him to his home, to his family, on a nearby planet, or invite him to, jo to join the crew. Do I need another crew member? I've got someone manning shields, engines, and weapons. Uh, of course, I've got my pilot as well. I could use somebody manning the doors so I don't have to take somebody off the piloting system to go uh, man the doors. In fact, that's what I just did in the last fight, and that cost me to take a bit of damage I could have otherwise avoided. So I think I will invite him to join my crew. Charlie states he was an engineer, so that's good for us. I'm pretty sure I already had an engineer on board, though, and that was... Uh, Oh, it was maybe Justin. That's this guy right here. Yes, yeah, so we can have Justin go man the doors, and now Charlie is our new engineer. That sounds good to me. Quite the useful distress beacon there. I'm probably not going to hit up this store. I'm going to hope that I can find another store before we get out of this sector, but uh, it's not too big of a deal to not get their, uh, hit up this one right there. Let's go to this nebula again. We are slowing down the pursuit of the enemy fleet, so... This is all well and good. We're not getting anything but healing out of this, which is quite all right as well. Having the cloning bay, of course, makes it makes it acceptable to not find anything in empty beacons and instead just you know hope for hope for healing. We got some distraction buoys here as well, so that's good. That's going to delay the pursuit even further, I believe. Yeah, leaves a false signal at start to delay the rebels one jump. Okay, so I believe that works in uh, at the start of every sector from this point forward. Which means, of course, we are going to be selling that at the earliest opportunity, because that's basically useless to us right now. Alright, Rebel Rigger, we have to fight. They've got a med bay. So we're going to be powering up this small bomb. Uh, they've got themselves a combat drone, defense drone, and an anti-combat drone. Which, of course, doesn't really mean anything concerning our ship's status. 
I don't think I necessarily need to power on my defense drone, so I might, uh, well, I'm not gonna do a combat drone, of course. You know, I might as well power up the defense drone. That could, uh, that could be the difference maker. I've got my cloaking available as well. We are gonna use the small bomb on the med bay, of course. We're gonna port over right now to drone control. That's probably my best bet. And then I'll go ahead and power this up just to keep us from having to worry too much about the possibility of damage happening. They have an ion pulse, or there is an ion pulse in this sector as well, though, so we gotta be concerned about that. Alright, my small bomb is ready to go. I'm gonna be powering up right here and probably just launching it since this guy's gonna be in there right now. Ooh, that was a lot of damage, unfortunately. The defense drone might be offline now, too. Yeah, it looks like it is. Ooh, that's not good. I probably should have cloaked through that a lot earlier, but luckily we got a bit more cloaking going on right there. Their med bay is destroyed. These guys are going to die. They're trying to repair the med bay at the moment. I think the guy in there might be uh, might be departing pretty soon. This drone is uh, starting to take its toll on my ship here, though. Let's go ahead and send these two over to try to keep the O2 off, or online, rather. Oh, goodness, yeah, this drone is gonna kill me. Ion pulse drone combination is not a good thing. Let's go ahead and small bomb this med bay one more time. Trying to take off some of these drones. All right, there we go, these guys are about to die. I've, I've gotta get some serious repairs done, though. Yeah, oh god, Matteo might die as well. Okay, four fuel, 63 scrap. That was a really unfortunate circumstance there. Oh man, this ion pulse luckily isn't gonna deal any more damage to me by itself, but that was some, uh, that was some serious shit, man, holy cow. Alright, you, sir, need to go in there and heal up the cloaking as well. Matsu is nearly dead, but of course that's quite alright. Alright, everybody's getting in there to fix that up. The weapons should be good to go pretty damn soon. Probably don't need to go help him out. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and jump out of the ion pulse as soon as I possibly can here, so let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, I'll hit up this beacon real quick before we go to the store. Hopefully just get a bit of free healing. Participate in their study. There's intruders on board. Oh boy, alright, well, that's not so bad. I believe these are just Zoltan. They are pirates, so they might be anything now that we think about it. Uh, oh, they are in the crew teleporter room. That's a rock and a mantis. Alright, well, that's really not so bad. These two are probably going to die, but they're going to deal a hell of a lot of damage before they go. Let's go ahead and send you and you. Actually, we can't afford to do that. Uh, let's see here. We have our we have our combat drone we could use in coordination with the small bomb if I were able to take out their shields, but I'm pretty sure I want to... I might just go ahead and, uh, defense drone. No, that's probably not going to be a good idea. Let's just cloak through their laser shots and then, uh, hopefully just be able to get our mantis back and crew teleport over there at some point. Uh, I do need to send you over here and, uh, you probably aren't going to be able to do much, but you might as well go help the mantis out. As soon as our guys are back, we'll be better off. Probably not going to take any damage from this ship, actually. Don't think they're strong enough to do anything. I'm gonna let Charlie die, more than likely. We've got our Mantis nearly back. Yeah, once Charlie's dead, then we're gonna just gonna go ahead and send people back to post. We're gonna have to repair that crew teleporter before we teleport over. These guys might go back. No, actually, they can't go back on their ship. They don't have a capability. Definitely should have cloaked through that. That was really bad. All right, these two are gonna repair that. He's gonna go in here and repair the O2 because obviously we need that to live. And then we should be able to crew teleport and. Uh, Get back to where we need to be. Okay. There we are. And kill this ship. I think that might be... Okay, they got an NG and a rock crew member. That's not too bad. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Do I want a small bomb? I could, but it's probably not necessary. And they are really focusing down that too. Holy cow, but he is, should be alive. Should stay alive, rather. Oh, no, he's dead. Well, not a big deal. 63 scrap. Contact the research station. Another defense drone. Wow. Okay, that might uh, that might change up my strategy a little bit here. If I can get two defense drones online, and then we can just focus on shield and engine levels, and then I can start putting the real emphasis on offensive capability. Hmm. I'm probably gonna keep that. That is uh, that is quite a big deal. We already have a bunch of scrap again too. Oh my goodness. All right. Once uh, once we get the mantis back, we're gonna send everybody back to posts. They lost a bit of. Uh, Combat strength, but that's okay. Karas is gonna heal up just fine. Let's head over to this store and see what we can do. I've got a lot of decisions to make. I'm hoping to find a pretty decent weapon here if I if I get lucky. Repair arm and a hacking stun. That is not gonna help me out at all. Joel the Zoltan and powering up the weapon system is not a bad idea. I'm gonna go ahead and definitely sell off the distraction buoys because that's almost completely useless. 
Well, then again, we don't. if we don't have to, we shouldn't. I've got to repair the ship for sure because we are in dire straits there. I might want to buy some more fuel as well. Sensors are not a bad idea. But they're not necessary. So I probably shouldn't pick them up just yet. But what else am I going to get here is what I'm wondering. Joel is pretty much the only thing that's tempting at all. Having to do with faster charge on the weapons and an extra power bar in that room is uh, very useful. So I think I will go ahead and pick him up. Hmm. That would mean, uh... Oh, man, that is that is tough. Hold on a second here. Who we got? We got Karis in there who is not helping the weapons charge at all. But we really aren't using weapons right now. But I'm hoping to be able to very soon. I think I'm going to pick up Joel here. I think he's worthwhile... That is a that's a good uh, that's a good capability for a Zoltan to have is being able to add weapons recharge time at a twenty percent level. So we'll save these here. I'm gonna keep this guy in the cloaking room just in case you know I need to see what's going on in there. Uh, this guy is definitely needs to be saved in the door. So let's do that now. And uh, yeah. Yeah, that might just be the gist of it. Let's go ahead and take power of the cloning bay, and now we know we can use the combat drone. I might level up my drone control here just because I know I need to do that, so let's consider the possibilities. I could level up my cloaking, but I don't think I have to, so that's going to be low, low, low on the priority list. Getting up to level 3 shields is a very good idea, and I have the power bars to be able to do that right now, so I think I might want to consider it. In fact, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make that happen, so we can just do this now, and then we can focus on buying more power bars later on. Alright, that works. Distress beacon and another beacon up this way. I can hit up a couple more of these before I get over to the exit, and these all do connect. If I go down to here, and I might be able to hit up this beacon as well. So let's take a gamble on this. We're definitely going to yeah, we're definitely going to get the distress beacon, as well as the beacon to the left of the exit. No dice there, unfortunately. I might not be able to get that other beacon, actually. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Jump interrupts a Sultan security ship as it follows a Mantis pirate into an asteroid field. They message you, your presence here will continue to be tolerated, but please do not interfere. I think I want to I wanna help the Zoltan ship with this one. So let's do it. Mantis bomber. Okay, these guys are going to be a little bit tougher. Let's take the power out of level 3 shields because they only have that one single shot. And then we're going to power up the defense drone to handle this uh, missile launcher. Crew teleporter is, is of concern to me, but I'm just going to go ahead and zap over the way I normally would. They don't have any kind of healing or clone base. Let's jump right into the crew tele or the, uh, the piloting system and see what happens. Let's find out where they are. They are trying to deal damage to... Where in the hell are they on my ship right now? Oh, they're trying to get in through here. Okay, so let's just kind of choke them out right now. I don't really want to leave the piloting room again. We might, in fact, even be able to uh, thwart this invasion. So let's try this out. Let's see if I can uh, just deal enough damage to these guys. Oh my god, they are hurting me right now. Uh, do I need to cloak? I'm pretty sure I don't. They're going to die. Uh, Dangler is going to die as well, if I'm not careful. Actually, we might just be able to win this fight. Let's find out here. Uh, yeah, they're gonna be okay. They're gonna run into a bit more trouble, though. Uh, alright, tell you what, these guys... I might just let them go, and then I'm gonna start choking out these two rooms and make sure that they're not able to deal any damage to my piloting system. I need to level up my piloting system really fast, actually, because this is proven to be a common enough problem to where I should consider being able to have an autopilot before anything else terrible happens. Alright, looks like they teleported back to their own ship, so that's not going to be the way I handle this. Uh, these two are all dead. We're getting a bunch of clones going on right now. In fact, I need to be able to power those up, so let's take the power out of the crew teleporter and go like that. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. I have the defense drone going strong, so their missiles are not going to be an issue. I could small bomb something. I could probably try to small bomb their oxygen and see if I can create a problem over there. There we go. Alright, so we'll see what that does. We're running out of missiles, so maybe I shouldn't just use those willy-nilly. Probably just consider uh, saving them for necessary expenditures. There goes that. Defense drone is just killing it right now for me. Pretty much keeping me alive. This is a very powerful asteroid field, too, so that really worries me. But I might try to use heavy laser if I can. So let's just go like this. There we go. Uh, let's see. I got almost all of my crew members back. I need to get back into the piloting system immediately so I get that dodge chance back again. Fade going up. There we go. All right, Mateo is back. Let's go ahead and do this. Power off the cloning bay, and then we're going to teleport over and hopefully be able to take care of this fight. 
Uh, bam, bam, and we're good to go. All right, let's do it. Back into the piloting room. He's very weak. He should die very quickly. And then there's, I think, the last crew member right there. Oh, one more. All right, he's going to be gone soon as well. Okay, cool. Uh, you're, as you're salvaging the Mantis wreck, the Zoltan Security Patrol returns with three other ships. You quickly salvage what you can and set off before they stop you for questioning. Very good. All right, waiting for the uh, recharge here. Cannot buy anything in this space, unfortunately, but we did get a few consumables as well as 40 scrap. Not bad at all. We jump away now, and we are able to hit up that beacon, so that's good stuff. We'll pretty much just have one more chance before the exit. All right, Rebel Ship guarding the beacon. They've got themselves quite a few lasers, so my shield levels are going to be the critical element in this fight. Uh, crew teleporter is not charged. I might have wanted to wait for that before I jumped. That was maybe not the best decision, but oh well. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Oh, God, they've got an intruder on board. Okay, so let's, let's go uh, deal with that while we're waiting for our crew teleporter to charge back up. Oh, goodness, wow, that got through. Okay, that was not expected. Uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and use my cloaking here for a little bit just to make sure we don't completely lose out on everything. I'm going to switch these back in case I need that. Uh, my defense drone can be powered right now, but I don't think it's going to help that much. So I think I'd rather save the drone part, maybe. Uh, these guys are not going to focus on the breach. They're actually going to go over here, and I'm going to send my two NG crew members to go over here and fix up the breach in the drone control room. Let's go ahead and jump off with the, uh, why is there two power in the weapons room? That is, that is odd. Oh, well. Go ahead and teleport over now. They don't have any healing themselves, so let's see if we can take off this beam drone, or, you know, at least just kill everybody in there. All right, there we go. Still got one level of shields to deal with the beam problem. They're repairing the drone control here. Uh, these guys, yeah, Dangler's might, Dangler might be going down. Oh boy, oh boy. We are losing a lot of fights lately. This is really not the greatest situation in the world. All right, Dangler's gone, that's okay. I can power up the cloning bay again. They just fired off another ion intruder, it sounds like, which really sucks. Uh, let's see if we can just maybe disable their drone control, then that would take care of that issue. I think Matsu might be able to take this guy on one-on-one, -on -one, so that's okay. Oh boy, let's see. I gotta power up the cloning bay at some point. I wonder, I don't think I want to take that off. So let's take this power out of here where I don't know why that was there anyway from the beginning. Matteo should win this fight. I think he's gonna come out of this the victor. If not, I'm just gonna small bomb this room real fast. Oh man, they died simultaneously. Holy shit, okay. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> My crew teleport is being taken offline right now too, which really sucks. So I don't really know. I think the uh, last crew member is inside of here. Yeah, so if I can just... Uh, Maybe I can just kill him with small bombs. Maybe that's my best option. Oh, God. There's a breach in there now, though. My goodness. This fight is a lot more difficult than I anticipated it to be. Okay. Let's wait for our second Mantis crew member. We're going to fire off another small bomb to see if we can kill this guy. There we go. All right. Crew is dead. Five fuel and 64 scrap. That's good stuff. Looks like their drone is offline now. Let's go ahead and set our NG in here to try to fix this problem. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that breach is... Uh, that breach stuff is not fun. That is not fun at all, but luckily we have people to take care of it. Justin's probably going to die while he does this, but that's quite all right. He'll just repair again. Or, uh, you know, regen. You know how it is. You know how we do. All right. Crew teleporter back. Send everybody back to posts. Uh, Justin's going to come back with us as well. We're going to take the power out of the cloning bay. I'm going to go ahead and level up my uh, piloting system right now because clearly that is putting me in a bad spot. Whenever that happens. I'm going to level up the doors as well because I feel like that's a pretty worthwhile upgrade too. Okay. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Could be a lot worse here. I'm still uh, heavily considering... Ooh, I don't want to do that offer. I'm heavily considering leveling up my drone control really quickly, but... I've got to make sure I've got some weapons as well. Without weapons, we might be in really dire straits. We've arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey to play your distraction movies, giving you more time to explore this sector before the fleet catches up. Fantastic. All right, so we got a store there. Let's see if we can get some quick scrap from a fight here. That would be awesome if we could get another 60 or so. Or a Heavy Laser Mark II, actually, is not a bad idea. Okay. Oh, that's super expensive, though. Hold on a second. Two shots per charge with two damage each with a chance of breach, fire, and stun. Is that the kind of weapon I'm looking for? I'm not sure. Let's head out, let's out, uh, over to the store. We did get some scrap out of that. So we have the possibility of picking up another thing here. I've not found any weapons in a very long time. My goodness. Combat Drone Mark II. Hmm. If we just had a complete re reliance on drone control, maybe. 
Can you imagine that? Upgrades to drone control. Getting up to four more levels would cost us, let's see, do quick math here, uh, 105, 135, 215 scrap to get up to the amount of uh, drone power necessary to get both that combat drone and the, uh, and the defense drone online together. Let's go ahead and get over to this store real quick and sell the distraction buoys because, of course, those are completely useless now. Um, hmm. Well, not completely useless. We could use them one more time in Sector 8. All right. I don't think I want any of these. That is tempting. I've never had that before, but that sounds like it's super powerful. Battery charger, not really that great. Long-range scanner's not so good either. I'm going to go ahead and buy some repair points here real fast. Hmm. I haven't used this combat drone at all. I don't expect to. But it would be helpful in phase three of the uh, the flagship fight in order to whittle down that overcharged shield. So maybe that's why we're keeping it on. Hmm. This is a very, uh, very interesting situation. If I could find any sort of beam weapon, that would be... I would jump on that instantaneously. That would be the, the lifesaver of this run here. But as of right now... Negative, I've killed more humans. You'd gulp noticeably, but luckily they don't see you yet. A Mantis Assault Vehicle. Do we dare cloak? I feel like cloaking would give us nothing. Let's attack the ship. I think we can handle these guys. They've got some powerful doors, but that, that doesn't really make that big of a difference to me. Probably gonna go ahead and, uh, jump right into the cloning bay. They've got a missile launcher and a small bomb, so defense drone might be a good option here. The small bomb is gonna get through on, on or, uh, regardless, so... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I want to do with the power I have available, so let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, yeah. Yep, let's do it. And then we'll teleport over into the cloning bay. Okay. That'll work. I probably have quite a few crew members on this ship, so... Gotta be wary of that. They are attacking the crew teleporter right now, which means I'm going to open up all these doors here and, uh, hope for the best. I'm gonna let this guy over into this room to deal with them if they get that far. We've got our... I'm just gonna go ahead and cloak through that real fast. We've got... Oh, they've got a, another weapon over here, actually. I didn't even notice. And Matteo and Dingler are having a tough time dealing with these guys over this way. That's surprising. I might use a small bomb just to take them out real fast. Deal enough damage to, uh... get the cloning bay down as well. Oh, that's no good. I probably should have done it beforehand. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, well... Need to take the power out of that, put it in the cloning bay real fast. They are leaving this area now. They're trying to get into drone control, which is fine by me. Somehow that... Oh, the drone control is offline. Shit. Ooh, that's not good. All right, well, we've got extra power here. We might as well put it in this and that. Oh, boy. Well, they just left our ship, so that's... That's that. Small bomb just took out our shield levels. This is, uh... Not looking like the kind of battle I really wanted to experience here. I'm gonna have to get really lucky dodging this missile. Uh, I also need to, let's see, I'm gonna send you over here and I'm gonna send you to fix this. So I really need that defense drone back online. Luckily that didn't hit any systems. Oh, this is not looking too great. I'm gonna assume that there's somebody in here trying to fix up the cloning bay. It missed. Well, that sucks. I do have my cloaking available again. I've got both of my guys ready to go. I might just send them over in the instant teleport here. Cloaking is offline. O2 is offline. I need both my NGs on repairs. Or maybe just one. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna send you over here to get my cloaking back, because that is very, very necessary. Very, very necessary! Uh, I need power in here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go. Sorry, guys. I need, I need you to make a difference immediately. There goes another crew member here. There's another one very weak, and, uh, that is... Oh, god, the cloning bay's back, so let's go ahead and destroy that. There we go. Okay, now hopefully this is going to be the end of this fight. I, I think that's what it's looking like. Okay, good. Two missiles and 49 scrap along with the drone part. That was probably not worth the cost. That was a uh, that was a very detrimental bout for all of us. O2 is offline. I'm probably going to lose a few guys, which is okay by me. I'm just going to go ahead and let them recharge. My God, is there no? There's power in the O2 now. Okay, so that could have gone better, but we're fine. We're okay. We're okay. Alright. Now. I really want to get everybody back and send them back to post before I do anything crazy. 
I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I want this mantis on the doors, actually. So let's go ahead and send you over here. Send you in this room, my friend. And then you, Sir Charlie, you're going to stay over this way. And we're going to save... Oh, wait, no. Sorry. You're, uh, you're our shield guy. So let's send you over there. Send you like this. Wait, is that right? Who's on our shields? It's uh, Lombard, right? Lombardi, probably. That's this guy. Okay, yeah, so we're good. That's our new stations. Okay, so I probably should upgrade something before I jump, he said, as he jumped like a dumbass. Uh, let's see. Buy six fuel for 12 scrap. I like that. That's probably going to get us through the rest of the trip here. Okay, so we've got 140 scrap here. What do I need to upgrade in order to put us in a position to not have that kind of crap happen again? I think another couple of engine levels might be what we need. Let's do that and let's get another power bar real fast. We're gonna take the power out of the cloning bay, of course. And then we've got the two left over. I might need a third just to be safe. So let's do this now. And that, put, that puts us in a pretty decent position. We can have level two crew teleport if we really need it. And we have our cloaking available as well. So let's do this and hope for the best. Healing up at the same time. The Rebel fighter here would seem to suggest elements of the Rebel fleet are already making incursions on NG space. They've got a Vulcan and a Med Bay. We know how to deal with that. We are running low on bombs, unfortunately, so if I come across another vendor, I'm probably going to have to pick up a few of those. They've got an anti combat, a Vulcan, and a small bomb. Should probably be. A oh, another Ion Intruder, though. Can we cloak through that? That's just going to freeze it right there. Probably not going to stop it completely. All right, small bomb needs to do this immediately. Oh god, ion intruder is not a fun, not a fun thing to deal with. I think we're going to win this fight though. Let's go ahead and send him in here real fast to take care of the guys trying to fix up the med bay. Uh, there goes our shield levels again. That Vulcan is going to crush me if I let it. Uh, I think my guys are going to die, so I'm just going to small bomb here now just to ki kill these dudes in the med bay. There goes that team, and uh, my guys are going to come back right now with all this power we have available. I think I might need to power a defense drum, but there's also an iron intruder in there. Let's see if I can send you and you. Maybe those two will be able to deal with it by themselves. Oh, God, there's a breach in there, though. I think the... Uh... Oh, goodness, what is going on here? He's still just sitting in there. Not really sure what to make of it. We're gonna cloak real fast, just to stop the uh, the charge of the Vulcan here. My cloning bay is offline, that's what's going on. Oh my god. Oh my god, so many ion intruders, man, this is insane. This is freaking ridiculous, and that stun lasts for days now. Alright, they got their healing bay back online. This is, uh, this is not looking sharp for us. This might be the end of days. I need my cloning bay back. He, he is continually stunning the cloning bay. This is awful, and I'm out of bombs as well, so I guess heavy laser is what I'm going to help for, but that's still not really going to help me out either. Oh boy. Oh boy, I might be boned. Might be time to get the hell out of here. I don't think I can deal with this ship. Let's go. Let's go. Let's uh, head for greener pastures. That was really unfortunate. Stun bomb. Okay. That might be something I can utilize. Pretty sure there's still an ion intruder on my ship. Oh god, alright. Well, let's get cloned and then let's uh, think about what we need to do here. First of all, I'm going to look at the jump map. Two stores and a distress beacon. Alright, so I'm thinking uh, store, distress, and then we'll head over to the exit. Because I do not have that many options anymore right now. Oh god, oh there's no O2 in here. Why is there no O2 in here? There should be. It's recharging, right? Is that why? No, there should be O2 in here for sure. What the hell is going on? Why in the world? That doesn't make sense. Okay, that was really strange. That's an unfortunate uh, handicap for Dengler to be in right now. Oh, well. There's that. Got this guy back. And one last guy. Oh, God, I need some weapons. I am so boned. Got my stun bomb now. That's definitely not what I wanted to see happen. Okay, well... I, do I dare do this? I don't think so. I need some small bombs at least to be able to do any kind of damage to any ship. Okay. Man, I have not found any weapons in stores! This is nuts! These are terrible shops that I've come across. Unbelievable. I don't think I want the stun bomb. I, don't, I can't even... Oh my god. So bad. So bad. Okay. I don't think I can have this. I don't think I can have this on my ship anymore. 
Let's fix this up real fast. I'm gonna buy some more missiles, too. Yeah. God, that's all I can hope for. That is really rough. Alright, distress beacon time. We might, have, we might be able to hit up that other store if we get just an obscene amount of scrap here. Promise to help, uh, whichever one will do just fine. 73 will definitely be the obscene amount that I was hoping for. Holy shit, okay. I will, I will take that as a sign that I need to head over to this shop. We got a flat cannon, we got a burst laser mark three. Five shots per charge. Is that what I'm looking for? Or do I want to go with flak? This is four required power. We can we can level up the weapon system pretty easily, I think. Yeah, if we get two more levels there, that's only 60 scrap, and I think we'll be able to come across that much. I think that might be what I want. That might be uh, that might be enough to make this a uh, successful mission. Although the fire drone, no, that's too much power. All right, well, here's the thing. I think I gotta go with this. We're gonna have to, uh, hopefully... Well, first of all, I'm definitely gonna sell the heavy laser, because I'm not gonna be able to use that, so let's go ahead and sell that off immediately. Uh, and then, yeah... I wanna keep these, but I think I gotta make a, an executive decision right now. I think I want the combat drone. But two defense... Uh, you know what? Yeah, I think this is gonna be enough. So let's move this over here, and go like that. And then if we get really lucky with a with a really good haul of like repair stations and stuff, we'll be able to power up the defense drones, or the drone control rather, to be able to use that. But of course, high priority is getting that burst laser available to use. So uh, let's go ahead and swap that over like that, and go like this and that. Yeah, that'll do. Right, take that offline. Okay, so right now I need to get this back up to usable territory, and that'll do right there. If we take our cloning bay offline, that allows me to power up the burst laser, so we're going to do that now. So we have that option. And uh, then, we should be okay. We should be okay. Alright, let's go to the exit. Let's go. Hopefully we get a whole bunch of consumable missiles from places here. Uh, upgrade the doors for 25 scrap. Yeah, that's probably not even worth it anyway, so no worries. Uh, okay, I don't think I want to take a chance on this. I probably should, because I'm pretty sure I'm not in any kind of condition to win right now, but... Let's see what we can do! 10 fuel and some whole point repairs. We have got to make it to some repair stations here. So this is, uh, one, two, three. That's where we need to go, so let's do it. We're gonna miss the one right near the flagship, of course, but... Repair stations are highest priority. We can probably fight this rebel ship. I think we'll be okay. We need more power bars, of course, to be able to utilize our defense drones. In fact... If I don't need my weapon, I should probably focus instead on getting both the defense drone and the small bomb available. So let's do that now. Let's get my defense drone online to deal with these missile launchers. And uh, we will small bomb the med bay at some point. But for now, let's go ahead and teleport our guys over and start dealing with these problems. Here we go. Still have very few missiles or very few, yeah, missile bomb stuffs available. So that concerns me. But... We should be okay defensively to deal with most problems. Of course, our cloaking is available to get through any kind of horrible situation. This med bay will be bombed and they will be nearly dead. I'm going to go in there actually and kill these two guys before they're able to escape. Hopefully, I was, oh no, I wasn't able to do that unfortunately. Alright, they're kind of trying to run away right now. And the opportunity they get. Oh, they were able to get inside my weapons room. Shit. Oh god, that's Joel going down. Oh man, yeah. Wow, that was a powerful blast. Holy shit. What is this guy doing? Karis, where are you supposed to be? I think I did. I don't think I even saved you a position, did I? Oh, well. We should be okay. That's how you might go down. My goodness, these guys. Nearly able to kill them. Oh, God. But the, Oh, they've got the freaking medbay back online still somehow. Wow. Shit. Well. Oh, no. And they destroyed my weapon system, so this is not good at all, at all for me. Oh my goodness, that sucks. Okay, so you gotta get out of here, buddy. We gotta let that fire go out. And then, uh, maybe we just need to rush over and try to take out some of their weapons real quick. Real, real quack, real quick. Oh, uh, they got a, they've got a system repair bot. That's what's going on. Oh god, well... Okay, let's, um... Hmm. Shit, dude. 
What do we do? There goes their weapons. Can I can I kill that bot? I think I can. Yes, yeah, so that's that dead. He might die. Oh god, no, he's full health. And they've got a. Are, are you serious? They've got an intruder drone as well. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I need my defense drone right now. I guess I gotta take these out and get these guys back real fast. Having cloaking might be more critical though. Okay, so that is uh, that fire is gone, I believe. So let's get the O2 back in there, and then we're gonna send both of these guys over to get the uh, weapons back online. Hopefully, I think there's a breach in that room if I'm listening correctly. The... No, actually, okay, but the O2 is uh, being choked out, so we just kind of just have to just have to suffer through it right now. Oh god, this is so shitty. What a terrible starting fight. Oh no. Okay, there's our Zoltan back. I need to I need to get these guys to take care of the dude in the L2 room here. Oh no. Oh no, what is going on? This is ridiculous. This is absolutely absurd the amount of shit I have to deal with here. Oh no, this is like worse than the fucking flagship fight. You gotta be kidding me. I gotta deal with an ion intruder. All my guys are getting cloned up right now because I can't even fix up the weapon system quickly enough. Got a system repair bot going on as well. Holy cow. This is otherworldly levels of bullshit here. Alright, well my defense drone is keeping us afloat right now, so really we just have to focus on uh, combining the efforts of everything else. And uh, well, first of all, I should probably try to take out this guy. Get the uh, breach taken care of too. That'll help us out. Okay, there's that. These two need to go take care of him and this NG, whatever your name is, buddy, uh, Charlie. You need to go fix up our weapon system. Oh my God, the stun is ridiculous. Please kill him. Please kill him. Thank you. All right, get these guys out. There we go. We got that going again. We got our Zoltan back. He's gonna go help up with the healing. Uh, I've got my small bomb ready to go, of course, that's what we really need. These two, uh, they're gonna be dead really quickly if we try to teleport them over. But my O2 is not powered right now, God damn it! Okay, okay, hold on a second. Everybody back to post real fast, I wanna see what the, uh, situation is right now. This guy's gonna get choked out. In fact, I kinda want him to die before we, uh, before we teleport over, but maybe that's not an option. Tell you what, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna re I'm gonna realign everyone else. You are gonna teleport over by yourself. And uh Whoa, what the hell? Oh, that looked like a Lanius for a second there. <laughs> okay, you teleport over and then just get killed instantly, that's fine. And then uh I need to small bomb their med bay while I am uh while I have my mantis crew members over again. So we're basically uh resetting right now for this fight so we've taken a lot of damage unfortunately or uh, we've suffered quite a bit but I think we're gonna be okay still not to human tangler they've lost a lot of their combat experience but they're still gonna be able to take out humans okay so our crew teleporters back online I don't think I need to uh, I don't think I need to power it up to level 2 but I might as well considering I have the capability of doing so I don't have cloaking ready if I do that but that's okay so let's do this again we're gonna reset and hope that this goes a lot better this time around. So we're going to try to small bomb at the right time this time to be able to kill these enemies before they are, they are uh, able to heal up. So we'll go like that. There we go. All right, we finally got it. You quickly salvage what you can and move to contact their prey. Contact the survivors. They repaired all of our, our uh, hole points, which is fantastic. Oh, man. All right, that was a very tough fight, but we managed to get out of there okay, and we got uh, full, full ship health. And a lot of scrap, which means we should be able to get both of my defense drones online now if I really want to. Power bars might be more of a priority. It takes uh, pretty much all I have here. Let's see if I can get to the uh, repair station. I can, so we don't really have to make the decision just yet of what to spend this stuff on. We're getting crew heal as well. 31 scrap and a whole bunch of consumables is fantastic. Okay. How close are we? We are two jumps away. We should be able to get there before they get to the base. So... What is the plan? What is the priority? I'm gonna go like that, and that, and then I've got another power bar. So if I take one level of power out of the crude teleporter, I don't have cloaking when I do that, but I do have the capability of using both of my defense drones, which is good. Um, 
one level more, one more power bar is essentially all I truly need. I would like another level of uh, weapons in order to give myself a bit of a buffer and to be able to use both the burst laser and the small bomb together, and that would cost 50 scrap. I should be able to get that much if I'm able to win another fight here and use the, uh, or and get another repair station. Let's go ahead and try to fight this rebel ship. We will, uh, cloaking actually might just get us away from this hack. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I think that's just going to freeze it, so I should probably try to teleport over before uh, anything else happens real quick. They don't have a cloning bay or a med bay, so this is going to be very uh, very safe for me. Let's go ahead and send our guys over right now. Uh, defense drone might actually shoot down the hack before it gets over here, so let's go ahead and power that up. There we go. Okay, that takes care of that issue. They've got a beam drone and a, and a uh, missile launcher. As well as a defense drone of their own, of course, that doesn't really matter for us. That's a Mark II defense drone. That's not going to uh, impact us in any way. Uh, let's see here. What is the best way to handle this situation? I could power up another defense drone. That's probably not necessary at all. Uh, yeah. It's looking like we might be okay. Getting more power bars, obviously, is a big priority here to be able to use both the defense drones and the burst laser. Our two guys are dying at the moment. We should be able to kill these guys and then start dealing damage to this ship. 2v1 here. I might come out victorious. Mateo is probably going to die. Oh, goodness. Yeah, this is... I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Dengler might die, but I'm going to small bomb this real fast just to take him out. There we go. All right, he's down. The defense or their evade chance is down to nil. Uh, that's a laser shot. There's two laser shots. We should be okay. We're going to power up the cloning bay here. I'm going to take off a level of evasion because I don't think we really need it. Get our mantis back, and then we should be able to just teleport over and kill the remaining crew members, and then we'll be good to go. Now, this one isn't uh, nearly as bad as the last one, luckily. That last one was freaking torment, so we're okay here. Getting our defense drones online is going to save the day. That means our first defense drone's gone, though, so we're going to get level one here and uh, keep things afloat. Okay. Same plan. I believe that's the last crew member, and he's going to go down really quick. There we are. 80 scrap, missile, and a drone part. Contact the survivors. Sincere gratitude from the refugees. All right, so not the greatest reward there, but still quite all right. We're going to jump over to the repair beacon now and see how much scrap we get from these guys. We're going to be up to full health for just about everybody before we go as well. Whole bunch of stuff. That's real good. Okay, so... I think I want to get... Here's what I need. I need these three to power up the burst lasers, so I think I just need to spend all this scrap on a whole bunch of power bars. So there's three. That gives us both the capability of the burst laser and the defense drone. But I want to be able to put power up both, so if I can afford two more, how would I be able to do that? I would have to jump here and then to the base, so let's try to do that. Let's try to do that now, and then I'll have my burst laser available for this fight as well. Demand the surrender of their goods. They are trying to escape. They've got a Vulcan, a cloning bay. Alright, so we probably want to use small bomb here. Oh, goodness. Both defense drones is probably going to be a good option here as well. I really need to take off their engines or their teleporter. Or not their teleporter, but their, uh, their piloting system before they can get out of here. So, we're going to power up both of these guys. Take power out of the cloning bay. I just realized, actually, we have two power bars I was using in the cloning bay that I wasn't aware of. So, we have probably more power than I need at this point. We're going to put the power in the engine room, actually. And uh, then if we get one more power bar, we should be able to use the burst laser with both these online as well. So, that's good. Okay, so what's the plan here? I definitely need to uh, teleport over. I'm going to try to disrupt the pilot and uh, probably small bomb the cloning bay. But they are charging the FTL right now, so maybe what I ought to do... Let's go ahead and do this here first of all. I'm going to go like that and then small bomb this room here. That should handle quite a bit of my troubles. They have two people in my ship right now. I think what I should do is go like this. My cloning bay is offline, I just realized. that's That sucks, so I gotta probably heal that real quick. They're gonna get choked. Oh, there's a fire in there. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so let's go ahead and choke that out before I do anything else. Before I go try to... Oh, there's a breach in here. Oh, holy shit. Okay, apparently that's what happened. My god. Oh, goodness. Okay, so they are uh, taking care of business over on the enemy ship. The enemy FDL is delayed. We are shooting down all kinds of missiles. 
they were able to get another one in, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully we're able to take out the cloning bay before they're able to recharge any of their crew members. I think the fire is out now in the cloning bay, that's good. But unfortunately, uh, well, actually, what I should be able to do, let's shut these doors here, and then that will uh, power the O2 to this area. Cloning bay is offline for them. Taking out their crew teleporter might be the next good option. Oh, they're going to be teleporting back. Okay, so we might be able to win this fight here. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, there we go. And then once they uh, run out of recharge over there, that's going to be the end of this combat. So there we go. The ship refuses to fight, but you still detect life signatures. Apparently this was prisoner transport. The single survivor offers to join your crew in exchange for their freedom. Okay. We have too many crew members, unfortunately. So let's see what Yevon C has to offer. He may not be staying aboard. Hmm. Weapons and piloting. We have our pilot right here. Yeah, it's Grozzly, and he's already leveled up completely. Yeah. See you later, Yevon. Sorry, buddy. Already got plenty of energy. All right. Let's get these guys back. They're unfortunately super low on health, which is going to be bad for the start over on the uh, flagship fight. Do need to seal up all the doors, get the cloning bay back online as quickly as possible. And, uh, yeah. We should be okay now. Yep. We're good. Power up the uh, little. Hold on a second now. I think what I want to do is spend this last scrap on one level of system control here and then get another power bar. And then I think. I think we have enough. One more power bar might be the best way to make sure that I'm able to use everything I want. Because burst laser combined with small bomb is probably a very good option. So let's go ahead and do that. Use that last power bar there, and then we have the capability of powering up everything I need to succeed. So that's all well and good. Let's get everybody back to where they need to be. Pilot is in his post. 45% evade chance by default. Alright. We are fighting the flagship here. And of course, as I mentioned, my two uh, my two borders are not in great shape right now. I'm going to power these all, both up immediately to combat the hacking that they're going to launch off. And then uh, I'm going to get the burst laser going as well as the small bomb here. So let's do this right now. And we'll be good. Okay. So we have our cloak, of course, if we absolutely need it. We're not able to crew teleport over just yet. We're going to wait for them to finish off their thing. Their hacking bots are going to be just whittled down. It's not going to be a problem. They're just going to keep firing those off. We're just going to keep shooting them down, so that's all I'm good. Never actually seen this happen before. It's kind of funny. They're going to run themselves clean of drone parts real quick. That is, uh, that is majestic. Oh, they finally got it off. They took off my defense drones. Oh, that's not good, especially considering they just launched their missiles, so... Let's cloak real fast. Oh, our defense drones are still shooting, though. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, well, let's go ahead and crew teleport over now. I'm going to try to take off the triple missile launcher first. I think we should be able to 2v1 this guy and still survive it. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be okay there. Yep, he's dead. He's going to go down, and their triple missile launcher is going to be offline. So that's very good for us. Small bomb is probably going to go into the, uh... Hmm... Probably want to small bomb their med bay. And then maybe burst laser to try to hit the shield. Actually, you know what I should probably do is uh, is small bomb the shields and then burst laser the hell out of everything else. Oh, that's still going to fire off, unfortunately. We have one defense drone online. We still have the power for the second. We got plenty of drone parts, so we might as well make that happen. Oh, uh, got one through. That's my weapons down a level. There's a breach in there as well. Let's go ahead and send our repair engine in there to help out with that real fast. Uh, triple missile launcher is almost gone. Small bomb is not available, but we should be able to at least try to fire this off. We might as well do that. Alright, my defense drones. We're still somehow able to fire off, which is incredible. There goes their triple missile launcher. Let's bring our guys back. Send them off to a different area. Our cloak is available right now. Gotta keep that in mind. Weapons are almost good to go. I'm gonna have to power up another defense drone real fast. Uh, teleporter is still charging up. Yeah, their triple missile launcher is down, and they're not going to be able to repair that, so that's fantastic. I'm probably going to send my crew, my uh, my Mantis, over to take off one of the other isolated weapons next. In fact, uh, I'm probably going to kill... Hmm. Yeah, if I just take off all their weapons, obviously that uh, renders them a bit ineffective, so... What I probably ought to focus on doing is uh, killing the crew members here and here and leaving this guy alive. And then uh, I just have to deal with the triple laser shot, which is obviously not an issue. So, let's uh, wait for the teleport to recharge, of course. 
Uh, of course, the hacking is still a problem, too. We should be okay, though. I'm gonna cloak through that triple ion, because I can. This is good to go. Alright, so let's take off the... Let's take off the beam weapon first. Because that is, uh, usually cause for alarm. A burst laser shot, so might as well let those go off, and I can power up the small bomb again here as well. There we go. I am, I'm dealing damage to the shields here, actually, so that's good. I'm not even using my small bomb yet, so that's all worthwhile. He's taking off another defense drone. There's that power going to nothing again. This beam weapon will be offline, though. I've got a pretty high evade chance by default, so we're good. This is going to go down. I'm going to be able to teleport these guys back. And send them over to the ion shot as soon as I can. There we go. All right, that's gone. Probably want these guys to uh, board the main part of the ship at some point pretty soon. Uh, they are trying to repair the... Actually, no, I should probably do this first. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to fire the burst laser like this. There we go. Okay, that's good stuff. More damage to the shields. Oh, the defense drones are still offline, though. i got to be careful of that. We can cloak... So we'll cloak through this next volley here. Whatever that happens to be. It's this, both at the same time, so luckily that worked out okay. Alright, excellent. I'm going to save some small bombs. Because I don't think we'll necessarily need them for this... For this phase. Should be able to just rely entirely on Burst Laser Mark III. Let's see what we can do. I need to power up a defense drone, actually. So let's do that now. And let's fire off this volley. I've got my guys ready to go. I'm going to send these guys in here in order to make it at least a 2v2 at most. And uh, they're probably going to die, but that's kind of to be expected. And I have the capability of powering up the cloning bay here as well, so let's just go ahead and do that now. Alright, there there they go. I'm going to small bomb the med bay right now. There goes that. That's still powered up, sadly, but... Oh yeah, the, the combat in the main part of the ship is going to be uh, quite hectic, actually. Power up this guy real fast. Ooh, did take a point of damage there. Gotta be careful. Okay. Send you back to your post. We've got at least one defense drone online here. Hmm. Got both my clones back, so let's take the power out of there. And put it probably. Do I really need to destroy the guy? I get. I might as well kill the dude in the uh, in the ion blast. Cause that's gonna make things a bit easier to deal with. Pretty much means only the uh, only the triple laser shot is going to be going through. That levels them back up to full combat stats as well. At least one of them. Okay, that's good. There we go. Once they're done with that, we're going to bring them back, of course. So let's go. Like, hold on, hold on, wait for it, wait for it. There we go. Okay, now we're going to wait for that recharge. Uh, do I power up the second defense drone? Probably not at all necessary right now. So. We're gonna be okay. Combat-wise, I don't even have to power up any more defense drones, so let's just put the power into the, uh, into the crew teleporter so I've got that lower cooldown. And then we will be okay. Go like that. And we can combine the small bomb with a shot from the burst laser again if I really wanted to, but I think what I ought to do is try to take off this, uh, healing bay. So let's do this. Let's go like that. See if I can get more damage done. There goes that. That's completely offline. We should teleport over now so we can try to kill them before they're able to repair the, the med bay. This is going to be a three on two, but we should still win. There's one crew member left in this room. So, of course, we are not going to be uh, putting the ship on automatic control at any point here. We're going to lose these two again, which is fine. We're going to just clone them back up. That is a, that's a pretty effective way of doing this. We're going to try to small bomb this again right here before they're able to do any more da or, uh, any more repairs. Actually, I'm going to wait until it gets to orange status, and then I'm going to small bomb it. I send you back. Okay, now that, that's the point where we need to do that. Oh, it missed. Okay, we're running really low on small bombs, so maybe I should be careful about that. Let's instead shoot like that. There it goes. All right, there's another point of damage. Almost have my second Mantis back. We have our charged up crew teleporter. All right, let's go ahead and do that again. Another three-on-two situation. Might even be four-on-two. I think these are the last three crew members left in the main section of the ship, though, so we should be able to win this fight right here. If these three die, that means we are uh, then able to freely roam about the cabin and uh, take out the other systems of the ship. All right. Oh, they've got two more. Holy shit. Okay, so that's not that great. These two are going to die. 
We're going to keep trying to repair the med bay, but we are going to shoot off the burst laser, hopefully, and be able to get through that. Oh, that's not good. All right, so the healing bay is actually back online. I probably need to use another small bomb. Or do I? Maybe not. I think I should. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. All right, so we're going to keep that off. We're firing the burst laser again. In fact, we're going to auto-fire this at the med bay here. Send this guy over. We're not taking any points of damage, of course, because we have uh, three shields and they've only got three shots they're able to fire right now. They can't repair that that uh, those stations either, so we're good in that department. As soon as we have this guy back to go, uh, we can't fight him in the med base. So we've got to try to take out something else, so they have to focus on that. Let's try to do O2. They're going to try to get back to the med base, so we probably just want to... Uh, Keep trying to take that offline. I really don't want to use another small bomb here. That would be really crappy. Alright, so if we take O2 offline... Hmm. That's probably not the greatest idea, actually. So let's instead focus on taking down the shield level so we can, uh... Hopefully be able to... You know what? I should probably just teleport back. Oh, goodness. This is gonna take a long time. This is, uh, this is very much a, a long-haul strategy, but it is gonna work. It's gonna work at some point. We're gonna be able to take the Rebel Flagship down as long as I play this as smart as I am trying to right now. So what I need to do probably is take down the shields with my Mantis. In fact, I probably should have been doing this beforehand. Taking down these shield levels is gonna allow the Burst Laser Mark III to be able to get in through, uh, or fire more volleys and thereby destroy the med bay more effectively. These guys are gonna get in there again. That's another shot to the med bay down. Now we're gonna be able to get the shield levels down and the burst laser is gonna be able to get through and do a lot more damage to the med bay every, every volley, so... This will work out just fine. My mantis is probably gonna be about 75% uh, health by the time we get to uh, phase two, unless I'm able to just like jump back and forth and make that work out some way. Alright, they're going back to the med bay to heal up. We're actually taking the med bay nearly offline now. One of my mantis was killed, but that's okay. He's just gonna clone back up and get back over as soon as he can. There we go, shield levels. There we go, and he's back in action. I think we're gonna be able to kill this last crew member here, too. Which is, of course, vitally important. I still do think, yeah, I think this is the most effective way to do this. Okay, so. We might just bring my guy back. In fact, let's do this. Let's have him keep firing down on the shields. And, uh, ooh, yeah, this is, uh, this is interesting. Hmm. See, this guy is still healing up in here. I'm worried that I'm going to lose my Mantis because they're going to teleport away or, you know, warp away. Hmm. Okay, let's just go ahead and destroy the ship. We'll worry about killing that other guy later, so let's bring you back. And let's just kill the ship. That'll work out. That'll work out all right. There we go. Okay, phase one complete. Not so bad. Three fuel missile and 20 scrap. That's at least the one missile I was hoping to acquire. Okay. What do I want to upgrade? I think an upgrade to oxygen is pretty good here, so let's go ahead and do that. And, uh, yeah. Let's go fight phase two. Let's do it. No reason to dilly-dally. All right, we are powering up defense drones immediately here. So let's take the power out of the cloning bay and out of level 2 te crew teleport and get these guys online straight away. Uh, they have got their defense drone, of course, but that's not... That means nothing to us, literally. Uh, let's see here. I think what I probably want to do is, uh, first and foremost, take off the missile launcher again. That, combined with the uh, drone surge, is going to be really problematic, so let's do that now. I'm probably going to want to, uh, small bomb the... Hmm. What is the priority here, I wonder? Definitely want to take off triple missile launcher. That is, uh, that is super important. So once we got that down, we'll be in better shape. I want to cloak through the overcharge, of course. Burst laser, we might as well be firing off at something. So let's see if we can whittle down the shield, level, shield levels at least once. Let's get these guys back. We're going to have to cloak through this. We're going to wait until the last possible moment, until we have, like, no shields, and then we're going to be good to go. That should last us through the overcharge. We should be okay. All right, that'll work. Triple missile launcher's gone, and they're not going to be able to repair it, so now I believe what I probably want to do is, again, focus on whittling down this med bay. 
They've only got one crew member alive in the main area, so I should be able to send my two Mantis over and be able to take down shield level so we can do the same strategy again. Or I could try to take off drone control at the same time. That might be the better option. Let's go ahead and do that instead. Hmm. What do I need to do? Because that drone control is going to be firing off a lot more frequently than I'd like, so... <sighs> hmm. I think I need to focus on shields instead. I think shields are more important. We're going to kill that guy, or he's just going to run over to the med bay at some point. We have our cloaking available, so again, I'm going to wait until I have no shields. We're going to do that. Cloak for as long as possible to get through those things. We are going to go ahead and start firing off the auto-fire burst laser. And uh, we don't have both of our defense drones back. Let's go ahead and fix that up real fast. I guess that was shot down by a missile or something happened. Okay, that's the beam doing no damage. That's good. There's a triple volley. We are going to have cloaking available again. We are taking down shield levels and the burst laser is auto-firing on the med bay, which is hopefully going to kill that last crew member. We have your cloaking back. We're going to do it right now just to not take any damage. Okay, this is working out just fine, actually. I'm very, very happy with this. He's still alive. That's the most important element of all this, and that this guy is still alive, and I've got to focus on keeping him there. Oh, the beam actually got through there. That's no good. All right, shield levels are down one touch. Uh, I probably need to focus on just uh, dealing as much damage as possible. I need my cloaking back. This is, ooh, this is a bad situation here. I don't need to take this down anymore, so let's just go ahead and run off somewhere else. That's another bit of damage to that thing. I'm going to try to take off their uh, drone control as well. I'm going to auto-fire on that, actually, and I might bring my guys back here. Yeah, I might bring them back, and then let's see if I can uh, see if I can destroy the beam control. Ooh, this is bad. This is bad. This We might get lucky here, though. Yeah, I think we did. Now I'm just going to cloak really quick. There we go. Okay. I think that, I think that worked out all right. We have a burst laser back. They are trying to repair the shield levels. There's a little bit of drone control defeated. If I small bomb here, I think I want to save the small bombs for phase three. So let's instead... We'll crew teleport. We're going to take the beam weapon offline again. And that is uh, one more big threat removed. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's get to do another point of whole damage to the ship, of course. Should have my cloak back by the time I need it for the drone surge. Burst laser is auto firing at the shields, which is good. I am almost ready to cloak here. Let's go ahead and do that now. It's going to get us right through the rest of the drone surge. That works. Okay, this is uh, this is going to do the trick here, I think. This is going to do the trick. We're going to get that beam weapon taken offline, and then we should just be able to easily dispatch the rest of the ship. Very good. That is phase two taken care of, I think. Got both our defense drones online as well. I think we got this. I really do think we got this. There's another surge. We're going to have our cloak available. I'm just going to wait until the opportune moment. And in fact, I'm pretty sure I won't have to do anything. We might as well do it just to be safe, though. That's their, uh... Oop, sorry. That's their... Shields down. Very good. Okay. I think we've won. Yeah, just one more volley here. There it is. Very nice. Phase two complete. All right. Phase three time. We want to power up our defense drones immediately upon entering the uh, the third phase of the fight. We're not able to buy any upgrades, which is fine. I've got all of my uh, all of my power ready to go. Okay. Let's do it. Phase three. I should be okay as long as I play. Just as uh, intelligently as I have up to this point. I'm praising myself a little bit here. You'll have to forgive me for that. But <laughs> Okay, that's Karas in the uh, door control. That's fine by me. Now, of course, all we have to do right now is whittle down this uh, overcharged shield. And then we're going to be able to teleport in and start dealing damage to both the shield room and the other weapons. All they've got right now is their... Uh their super weapon, and oh, they've got the triple missile launcher back though as well. Okay, so we gotta be aware of that. I've gotta send my NG in to fix this problem Im immediately. That is, oh, that's a fire in the uh, drone control. Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all. Let's send you over here real fast. We're gonna open up these doors and get things going again. Oh, goodness. That mind control is so powerful as well. I don't wanna use small bombs just yet. I am gonna cloak through the super shot. There we go. Let's go ahead and get through that. There that goes. Okay, I'm gonna let the cloak go for a bit longer here. Take the auto fire off the burst laser real fast. God, that mind control lasts for so long. That is really bad. Okay, I think the fire is out in the drone control, so let's take this. Uh, or sh oh, God, the doors are offline. Shit. Shit. Oh, that is bad. Okay, so you need to go fix that right away. You are going to go off shields, and you're going to go fix the doors as well. I need 
Oh, I need my drones back. Oh my god, there's two gone. That one missed as well. That's good. Okay, burst laser, or burst laser back to auto fire. Whittling that thing down. I'm gonna go ahead and fire off one small bomb just to get that down even further. And then we should be able to teleport after the next burst laser volley. Okay, so we're making it. We're making it through. All right, there's the doors back online. We got to get those going again. We're having the cloak. Uh, cloak might be down for this overcharge shot, which is not good. Oh, man, it would be go so good to have the cloak back for these. But yikes! Oh, there's a fire in the ha oh, fire in the cockpit. Oh no. Okay. Another burst laser shot. And we'll be able to crew teleport over and finally start being able to go on the offensive here. We need to let the air out of these rooms really quickly. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Alright, so overcharge is going to be gone. There it is. Okay, there's small bomb going on the shield right now. Actually, I might just want to small bomb this room. Yeah, let's do that first. Our defense drones are gone, so I really, really need to uh, get moving here. Let's send these guys over in this room. Still a fire in this area. Oh god, he's back in the mind control as well. There's all of our evasion chance depleted, so... Jesus Christ. This is really bad, this is really bad. Oh no, man, this is really bad! Alright, the fire is gone in this room, so... I'm gonna shut these out. I need these shields le shield levels down. I should probably save my cloak. Oh, God. Burst laser is still available, but I need this fire gone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here and try to fight this guy. These two need to go in this room. Still fire in the piloting room. Actually, there's not, so I can shut all these doors. Like this. You need to go in here right now. Fix up the drone control. I have a defense drone available, so I should power that up immediately. Defen er, burst laser is still available to fire. I'm trying to take out the mind control. That's maybe not the best option. Let's see if I can get a burst laser on that. It's actually not going to be an auto-fire. Hold on a second here. My cloak is available. Let's see. My Zoltan's going to die. That's alright. I need to power up the cloning bay. So let's do that now. Hmm. And that, that fire needs to go out straight away. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. This is off. I need to fix that up. There's a breach in that room too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here comes the power surge. I don't know if I can make it through, but I'm desperately trying. Oh, that was really bad. Shit, and I didn't even get the burst laser volley. Alright, I need the small bomb. Need the small bomb to go. At least I need that. O2 is still being powered up. Oh god, I didn't shut these doors! Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it, that's so bad. I don't even have maximum evade on all my cloakings offline too. That's it. It's over. It's over. Damn. Damn, that was... Oh, that was a... That was a freaking nightmare. That was a freaking nightmare for Phase 3, dude. How fucking disappointing. Oh, that sucks so bad. What a shit show. What could I have done better? I just got some nasty hits there. I got so many things. I, I wasn't paying enough attention to the amount of flames that were going on, but... Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. I'm happy with that run. Not, no, I'm not. I'm not at all. That's a lie. I was really hoping for a victory there, but... Alright, thanks for watching this episode of FTL, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.